Another new event in Second Life. Shock of the century. Or maybe just Tuesday. Welcome to Velvet Bohem, the shiny new front business in the Prim Mafia's empire. And let's be honest, the only velvet here is lining somebody's linden balance. Last week, Marak dropped a set at an event I'd never even heard of. And here's the thing. New events pop up all the time. At this point, I don't even flinch. I go to the big ones, or I follow my favorite brands, and that's it. This time it was Merak dragging me there. But in hindsight, you know what would actually be useful? A press release. Yeah, imagine that. Welcome to our shiny new event. Here's who we are. Here's why we exist. Here's what makes us different. Give me a story, not just a logo slapped on a sim. Better yet, go full transparency. If you're new, tell us who owns the event. Because outside of the creators on the lineup, nobody has a clue who's running what. We shouldn't have to break out magnifying glasses and group ownership tabs just to connect the dots. Not that it matters who owns what, or does it. And since nobody seems interested in transparency, let me help. Here's what a truly honest PR release for a new event might sound like. Dear shoppers, this month we've decided to launch a brand new shopping event because we noticed other people charging 3,000 lindens per booth and thought, why not 3,500? We'll also be adding a very reasonable 2,500 lindens late payment fee because nothing screams community spirit like punishing you for being a day late. Our mission is simple. Accept any brand willing to pay, no matter how many couches in beige you've already seen this year. We look forward to filling our pockets, sorry, filling your weekends with yet another event you'll forget exists the second it closes. See you at the checkout. The management. Now, wouldn't that be refreshing? At least then we could drop the pretense that this is about supporting brands, when really, it's about who can squeeze the most lindens out of a two-week calendar slot. But I digress. My apologies. So, Velvet Bohem. At the time of this video, the event will have ended. It only ran for two weeks. And the only reason I went there was because one of my favorite brands had a set I wanted to check out. Otherwise, it would have flown completely under my radar. But then the messages started hitting my inbox. Because of course, people notice these things. While I was over here just buying my little Merak set, others were asking, who exactly is behind this new event? And surprise, surprise. Look at the land group. Look at the ownership. And there it is. Kess Crystal. Yep. You guessed it. Co-owner of the Seraphim website. Oh, the plot thickens. The Prim Mafia strikes again. This isn't just some scrappy little side hustle. This is top of the food chain. The same site that loves to brag about not charging events to be listed. Which they don't need to, of course, because they charge for everything else. And now, they've added a shiny new event to their collection as if the others weren't enough to keep their pockets warm. So the question is, why? Did they need some extra cash? Or was it just boredom? But I am impressed. And it usually takes a bit to impress me. But I'm impressed because this is not just a two-week event. Out of the blue, well, for us, as I'm sure they've planned this a long time ago, they're pulling together some of the most well-known creators in Second Life. And here's what I can't stop wondering. How did they manage it? How did all these top creators, already stretched with their regular event schedules, suddenly crank out brand new products just for this? Connections? Favors? Or maybe when the Prim Mafia calls, you don't say no. And that's where the real story kicks in. Because Velvet Bohem isn't just another event, it's another symptom of the disease. The grid is drowning in events. Every week it feels like another one pops up, each promising to be unique while offering the exact same deal. Booth fees that get higher, lineups that blur together, and creators working themselves to the bone just to keep up. 
Creators aren't stupid. They see what's happening. Booth fees go up for no reasons. And some creators don't even make that money back or just break even. They're literally paying to fund someone else's cash out. But apparently, participating in shopping events is the only way for brands to be discovered, to stay in the limelight. That logic works if you're a smaller store trying to break through. Except here, Velvet Bohem launched with a lineup of well-known established brands, people who don't exactly need advertising. Unless, of course, the event was targeting noobs who don't know the top brands of Second Life. In which case, congrats, you've built an entire sim just to re-educate the grid's kindergarten class. And let's not even talk about weekend sales. 350 stores crammed into a single note card like sardines. Creators are forking out 3,000 lindens a week just to get listed. But hey, as long as the organizers are pulling in over a million lindens a week, who cares if the creators are barely breaking even, right? And that's the mafia logic in a nutshell. The family doesn't care if the soldiers are exhausted. They care that the vault keeps filling. Creativity? That's optional. Burnout? That's your problem. Profit? That's theirs. So when Velvet Bohem pops up out of nowhere with some of the grid's top names, and you find out it's run by the same people who already own the biggest pipeline of advertising power, that's not just another event. That's consolidation. That's the Prim Mafia flexing its muscle. Because this isn't about bringing you a fresh, exciting new shopping experience. It's about control. Owning the spotlight, owning the traffic, and owning the lindens that flow through it. And when you zoom out, you realize it's all the same playbook. Raise fees, oversaturate, burn out your creators, and cash out while you still can. The shoppers get lag, the creators get scraps, and the organizers get yachts. We don't even know if Velvet Bohem is a regular thing. Monthly? Quarterly? Yearly? Or was it just a quick cash boost to top up the grid's champagne fund? And here's another fun question. Do they charge themselves for advertising on Seraphim? Because at one point it was a featured post. And then, oh look, it slid neatly into the boosted section. Very convenient. They had 74 brands in this first round. Let's be generous and pretend they only charge 3,000 lindens per booth. That's 222,000 lindens. About 880 US dollars. Not bad for a two-week pop-up. Now minus the tier, which by the way is a full 30,000 prim region they've barely touched. So yeah. Why 30,000? A 20k region would have done the job especially since they've got less than 10 prims resed. So either they've got some master plan we haven't seen yet, or they just like flexing with the deluxe package. But hey, that's amazing. Bravo. Well done. The Prim Mafia keeps finding new ways to make Second Life look less like a creative community and more like a family business in velvet wrapping. <laughs>